Greetings, Leo and Leo Rising. This is your Western forecast for June 2024. The first half of the month, on one level, it's about making long-range plans. You know, aspiring to achieve your goals. The last half of the month is it's time to um, get busy building, developing projects to be able to achieve these important new goals. And ambitious, assertive Mars, once every two years, is moving into your career sector June the 8th through July the 20th. So you're coming up with some big ideas, big projects, maybe working in collaboration with others, all like waking up and jump starting, especially the first two weeks of June. And then after that, it's time to get busy and build the projects. Now, before I break all this down further, if you enjoy these kinds of videos and would like to see more of them, click like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can receive the latest postings. And if you go into the description box underneath the video, you'll find direct links to book an astrology reading or to sign up for my two question offer. All right. What is all this achieving your goals and looking to the future? The sun every June from the actually the end of May through June the 20th, the sun's in Gemini. Wherever the sun is shining, your priorities, your attention, that's what's being lit up for you. It happens every year. But every year we have to look to where all the other planets are to see if this sun in Gemini is being enhanced or weakened. Gemini is 11 signs past Leo. The 11th deals with your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. Socially, it deals with friendships and teamwork. Mercury is the planet of negotiations and communications and learning. Jupiter will be in Gemini, where it's particularly strong, because Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So Mercury and Gemini can be sharp and quick. Um, and it's going to be in that 11th, which could be a lot of correspondence, a lot of networking, a lot of socializing, the first two weeks of June. Jupiter, expansive knowledge-seeking, lucky, traveling Jupiter went into Gemini at the end of May for the first time in 12 years and will be there to the beginning of June. So Jupiter goes through each sign for about one year. And Jupiter is where it brings opportunity and luck and optimism. Jupiter seeks knowledge Jupiter wants to uh, bring success, abundance. Jupiter loves to travel. Now, that Jupiter in your 11th, you could be feeling really optimistic about your long-range plans and goals. You could also be attracting some major opportunities to achieve or go after long-range goals. The 11th house is teamwork and collaboration. Um, so with the Jupiter, it could be very successful in a, a collaborations to achieve long range goals. Now, with that said, Mercury, curi curious learning Mercury goes into Cancer into the shadow sign prior to Leo. I call it the incubation part of the chart. Pleasurable, creative, romantic Venus goes into Cancer 
in the shadow sector on June the 16th into the first part of July. The sun doesn't go into Cancer till June the 20th till about July the 20th. This is where there's all this support, collaboration, networking, being really inspired and optimistic about your long range plans and goals. That's all that 11th house that the Jupiter is going to keep bringing and expanding for, four, for, for one year to the beginning of June, 2025. But then having all these great ideas, great opportunities, now you've got to build it. You've got to develop it. Um, and that 12th house is because of the positive Jupiter um, that wants to support you to achieve your goals and your dreams, then that strong 12th house, the le but only for the last two weeks of June in the first part of July, is this realization that um, you now have to, um, you got to manifest these great ideas. Um, and maybe doing a lot of, starting to do a lot of researching on what you've got to learn and study um, with that 12th house. But you're going to be very busy developing these projects because ambitious assertive Mars, for the first time in two years, enters your 10th house of career matters June the 8th to July the 20th. So you're going to be very busy, um, but with that last couple of weeks of, July, of June, there's a lot of this behind the scenes development, but because of the Mars and because of the Jupiter in the 11th, that's going to bring in support opportunities, protection from friends and associates. It's going to keep the long range goals alive and hopeful. And Mars, you're really going for career, initiating new ventures, new projects, taking the lead. Um, then this 12th house is now you gotta buckle down make a plan and start really working on achieving all these goals and opportunities. The new moon will be at 16 Gemini on June the 6th. Social Venus, benefic cooperative Venus will be at 16 Gemini. If that was all it was, that would be a real emphasis socially, creatively, seeking peace and harmony, all the good stuff of Venus. But the Venus is being squared or challenged by Saturn. And so Saturn's in the eighth house of your financial responsibilities. Therefore, we can look to Venus most people just think of Venus as the arts, of romance, but Venus is also a planet of finances because Venus rules Libra, sign of relationships, but Venus also rules Taurus, the materialistic money sign. And so the Venus is going to be very much emphasized but challenged by Saturn. There could be some real worries about um, finances and paying for all this, going after this big new project. Um, but on another level, Venus's relationships. It's the first two weeks, it's in Gemini in your 11th house of friendships. And, but Venus is being squared or contracted by Saturn. On one end, this new moon isn't just going, the, well, the Venus is only there to the middle of June, but the new moon with the Venus Saturn is going to continue um, into the first week of July. 
because it goes from new moon to new moon every four weeks. So this new moon is in your 11th of friendships. Venus is that of um, socializing, benefic, loving energies. A friendship will be tested with the Saturn. And you'll um, either it'll become stronger because you lock horns, you get really frustrated, but you finally come around um, and the relationship is stronger. Unless this is finally recognizing that you're recognizing that you have a friend who is just is not is a fair weather friend is just is um, not fully supportive all the time um, and um, not there when you need them. Maybe it's the realization that um, you have to say goodbye to a friend. Now the eleventh house can also be um, with an organization or some kind of group activity or support group and that might be tested of, um, of how um, they either let it go or you need to really work on resolving any conflicts. So that's the new moon bringing up a lot of these maybe money issues but certainly friendships. Two weeks later is the full moon, the full moon on the 21st. The full moon is in Capricorn, falling in your sixth house of work and health matters. But it's in opposition, which is the negotiations, with cooperative peace-seeking Venus and negotiating Mercury. This suggests to me with the Mars in the 10th house of careers, um, that full moon around the 21st, the 22nd, there could be a job offer. Or if you were out there looking for more work projects, you could be getting the green light, the green light around the 21st. And then that is also goes along with the 12th house, the last half of the month, where, all right, here's all your opportunities. Now you've got to do the work. I want to thank you for watching. If you like information on how to book an astrology reading or check out my two-question offer, visit my website at gardino.go. That's .co. Until next month, be safe and well.